my name is Brian Drown. Uh, I teach fourth grade here at High Point, and today was our Math Club Day Wednesdays. We meet uh, every Wednesday from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, uh, and basically try to learn better problem-solving strategies, and hopefully help kids grow in their love of math. We have a competition in uh, January at Bolivar. There's several of our buildings in the district that have math clubs. Uh, I think two or three, maybe more, but I know of two or three, and they're going to go as well. Um, and it's just a chance to compete with other schools in, in our math competition. Um, they give out ribbons and prop for first place, maybe a trophy. I think it's mainly ribbons uh, for first, second, third. And then we have a, a top five, top 10, top 15 rankings in those categories. So it's just a chance for kids to kind of compete with their, their fellow math peers. They do it by grade level, so they'll be fourth grade students. We actually have two third graders in our club. Um, who've shown a real high level of math, and so we've included them, and they will compete with third graders. There's not many third graders there, but they do have a few. We have about 75 fourth graders who compete. From Kansas City, they come down, and from, it, it's a big thing. There'll be a total of, I think he said, he caps it 350 kids per session. There's two sessions, and then we'll have about 75 fourth graders, and about 75 fifth graders, and about 75 sixth graders. So it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. Like today, one of our students who got a correct answer said, yay! I mean, it's why we do it. You know, they, they hopefully feel good about that, they feel good about math, they feel good about themselves. It engenders a love of math. Uh, I, I, don't, I, I hope that we teach kids to love math. It's hard for some kids. But when I, I, I love math, and, and I, I, there's so many fields that are math related. If we can encourage that, especially in our kids who are, aren't really gifted at math or extra good at math, um, then I feel good about that. I, I think that's hopefully what I'm able to do. At least give them that opportunity to, to, to feel good about math and to go farther than their peers. Um, and in class at times, maybe they're thinking, gosh, I already know how to do this, and we're doing it again. Well, on Math Club, hey, this, there's some harder stuff out there I need to listen because it's a piece, you know, it's building blocks. If I take this piece and this piece, now I can solve a more complicated problem. And if you don't have those, the foundation of those pieces, it makes the harder problems more difficult. You know, one of our problems today was, was factoring. And if you don't know multiplication, you can't do factoring. So you got to know basic multiplication, which helps you with factoring, which now helps you solve that problem. So I, I love the pieces, I love the excitement the kids have. The, the real achievement is, I hope, and we won't know that for two or three or four years, but man, I love math. I, I love solving that. I love to be challenged. I know how to attack a problem that might be hard. I'm not gonna be frustrated by that um, because no matter how good at math you are, there's gonna be a problem that's gonna be challenging for you. And, and learning how to solve that without getting frustrated is kind of a life skill too. So, for me, it, 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 there's many facets to it that are good. They're hopefully getting better at math. They're getting better at challenges. They get to work together as a team and solve problems, which is great. Um, so I, I, I hope, I try to make it as interesting for them as I can and as beneficial for them as I can. If they're in the math club currently, the mathleague.org that we put up on, this, on the board today is a great website. Those are some sample tests the parents could download and, and practice and work with the kids. Whether they're a math club or not, those are good fourth grade problems. They're challenging problems. Um, but for parents in general, I would just say work on the basics of math because it is the basics that lead us to the more challenging type problems. If you can't solve, if you don't know basic multiplication, that limits where you go in math. And so knowing just that, and sometimes some of our kids do struggle with that. So as a parent, just making sure they learn addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, because those pieces let us do a whole lot more with our problems. And I love working in a district that values this kind of stuff. You know, I mean, everybody likes the football team, the basketball team. It's, I love basketball, but I love the sports part of it too. But I love the fact that math club is that an elementary math club is important enough to somebody to say, "Hey, let's do something with that." You know, because these guys are just as important as anybody else, and and and, and I think they will uh, hopefully benefit from it, and it made it a lot more fun for them today. <laughs>